Hey, this is Josh Podesky. I have been building a terminal environment for development um, for the past few years, and I've been a Vim user for almost a decade now. And so I'm just excited to give you guys a quick overview in what's going to become a series of videos about how I set this up and how you can as well. And so let's just dive into it and I'll give you a quick summary of uh, kind of how I do things. So this is Alacrity. This is our terminal emulator. And it allows me to have this sort of window, uh, borderless window uh, that's transparent. And so I'm able to um, have this nice kind of pretty look. Um, I also use something called Nerd Font, which is a spec that allows my font to have special icons inserted into them. Um, and then finally, sort of the main building blocks of, <clears throat> excuse me, my environment is I use uh, the fish shell. I use Tmux, which is sort of like a session window state manager for the terminal environment. Um, and then I use lazy git, which is a tool for very quickly doing git actions. Um, and then finally, I use NeoVim. Um, so NeoVim is just a fork of Vim and allows me to do modal editing. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick feature that I built. Um, I'm actually, this is lazy git. I just hit command G and I can see it. Um, and so these are my staging environment up here, my branches. Um, and so if like I wanted to delete something, I can just hit D and I can say yes to discard all changes. And so everything's driven by a single key. Um, and then you'll notice that I have these numbered tabs up here. They work very similarly to like the web um, where you have different tabs. It works the exact same way. Um, the terminology is a little different, but uh, yeah, you can, I can even split them. Um, I can have different projects. Um, I can close them and I use, you know, command W, command T, all the things that I'm already familiar with Mac OS. I actually have a video on how to do that with Alacrity, which I'll link to. Um, and, you know, this is NeoVim. So I use lots of lots of cool things come together for this to happen. Tree Sitter is a tool that is used for very pretty style definition. I'm currently using a theme called Cappuccino, which is a fun name. And it also is just a fun, uh, pretty, pretty color palette. Um, and you'll notice that uh, with LazyGit, I have all these nice little icons floating around. Um, and so even though it's a terminal environment, it can still look nice. Uh, which is something that I appreciate. Um, and so I'm able to achieve this with something called nerd font. Um, and so I know I'm spewing a lot of information, um, but just keep in mind that uh, I do plan to break all this down um, piece by piece so that you guys get a sense of how to do this yourself if you want to set up a similar environment. Um, and so putting all this together, you know, I have jumped to definition. Um, I can see. Uh, what you know information about different code as I hover over it um, I can even like delete things like this and I can um, get I can add it to my environment and I can commit it right and so like feature remove thing and then I can go down here and I can delete and you'll see it actually shows like I'm behind I can delete this if I wanted to, again, just with simple keystrokes. Um, I can quit and go right back to what I was doing. Um, I have this tool called LF, which lets me use uh, HJKL kind of things to get around if I want to look at more of the code. Um, instead of, I don't really like sidebars. I know that's really popular right now, but I'm just not really a fan, so I like this tool. It's, it's, it's very similar to Ranger, if, you're, if you remember that old, old school uh, Python package. But yeah, so I can open up any file and get around. <coughs> Bless me. And uh, do what I need to do, code what I need to code. Um, I can have different things pop up. Uh, if I want to like run tests on the side, I can do that. Um, I tend to have things focused in different tabs. Uh, but yeah, this is just my way of getting around. And again, this is a Go project, but we can switch to any other project um, very easily. This nice little tool called Telescope allows me to uh, have like fuzzy finding and be able to see like documents before I open them. So like read me. And yeah, I mean, I just, I really enjoy this. It's so much more performant. 
Um, it lets me have lots and lots of projects open at the same time and not really have to deal with the overhead of keeping windows open or even keeping track of them really. Um, and then I have all these keyboard shortcuts that just let me jump around um, and get wherever I need to go very quickly. Um, but more so what I like about this process is that I don't have to think much about it anymore and the power that I think all of this comes from. And let's talk for a second. So I would say for me, uh, why I would ask you to subscribe is if you want to maybe ditch VS Code, maybe you think, man, I wanna do this myself. And so uh, you have the opportunity to customize this to the way that you want it, um, which means there is a time sink. I mean, it can take time to learn this stuff and figure out how it works. But once it does, I think it's really gratifying um, and interesting for me at least uh, to learn about this stuff and figure out the inner workings of how code editors work and how command shells work. And so if you're interested in this and excited about it, um, hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to breaking this workflow down more piece by piece um, and so that you can begin to build your own workflow or maybe if you already have one, find some tips along the way. Um, and so thanks for watching.